Hello there, it's Mrs. Drake with the clarinet, and I'm going to be doing book lesson eight. So everybody please flip to lesson eight, and it'd be also good to grab a pencil in case you want to write some things down. Okay, so lesson eight, there's some new things on this page, repeat signs. We'll talk about that later when we get to song number four. Um, but the main thing on this page is the notes called B flat, and there's two of them. There's a high B flat and a low B flat. So let me grab um, the book so you can see it. High B flat looks like that. And remember in music, that marking is called a flat sign. Um, that little marking is called a flat sign. So that's considered B flat, high B flat, and this one is considered low B flat. So in the music, you can see here's a bunch of high B flats. Okay? And then that is what low B flat looks like. And the rule in music is, for example, on this measure right here, they only have to put a flat sign on the first one, and you're supposed to remember that it goes for the second one. They like to save ink, so they only have to draw it on the first one, and you're supposed to know it means for the whole measure. So when they want to be flat, they have to draw it on the first one, but you're supposed to remember it means B flat for the second measure too, also down here. So low B flat, that one is also low B flat because it's in the same measure. Okay, so song number one. Okay, so the first note is high A, and I want to remind you, high A is this key up here, high A. And then to play high B flat, you keep the A key down, but then you put your thumb on this long skinny key in the back, but leave the hole open. This is called the register key. So it's the A key and the register key held at the same time, no other fingers, and that's called high B flat. Try that and see if you can get it to work. High B flat. Okay, so song number one is a bunch of A's and high B flats, and then the last note is a G. But otherwise, it's a bunch of high A's and high B flats, so all you're going to be have to do is just move your thumb. Okay, everybody, song one, the first note is A. Everybody warm up A. So it's going to go ta, ta. That's the speed of song number one. One, two, ready, go. songs where there's no rests, remember to just grab a breath wherever you feel like you need it and always breathe through the sides of your mouth. Don't use your nose. So what you can do when you need a breath is just chop the note a little short or you can leave the note totally off. Take time to breathe. Keep the, the beat flowing though so you stay with me. But feel free when you need a breath, take chop the note short or leave one of the notes off and grab a breath. Okay, song number two. Looks through it. You see that there's several high B flats in this one. And the first note is a G with a dot next to it. That means you're going to hold the G for three beats. All right, song two, everybody find a G. Song number two. One, two, ready, go. song number three. Song number three uses the low B flat. I want to remind you that low B flat is C on your left hand, C on your left hand, but then you add your first finger, your first finger of your right hand, and it creates low B flat. should sound like this. Everybody try a low B flat. Okay, song number three, song number three. Uh, remember to breathe in. And clear off your spit before you start each song. Everybody find an F. <laughs> song number three starts with F. F, rest, F, rest. Okay, song number three. Make sure your B flat, low B flat finger is ready. Song number three. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> Now, song number four 
uses repeat signs. Song number four uses repeat signs. A repeat, a repeat sign is a thick line and a thin line with two dots. And you can see how they point toward each other. Do you see I used some, I drew in some extra lines, I call them wings, to help brighten the repeat sign. So that means you play that chunk of the song twice. You start at the beginning, you play, you hit that repeat, those dots, bounces you back to these dots. You play that chunk again, and then you go to the ending. That rest in this situation is only worth two beats. Um, so remember in this song, there's only two beats to a measure, so that rest is two beats of silence. Okay, song number four with the repeat. Everybody find a D. Okay, everybody find a D. Song number four. One, two, ready, go. song five waltz for grandmas okay this song has no rests so remember when you need a breath just cut one of the notes short and grab a breath through your mouth um, also on these songs especially these harder songs feel free to just lay your mouthpiece on your shoulder and just move your fingers and see if you can keep up with me so the first time so that you're watching this video you might not want to play with me you might just want to listen and see if you can move your fingers to keep up but of course eventually I want you to try to play these songs with me Okay, Waltz for Grandmas. Everybody find a C. And I'm going to lead it off with Ready, Set, Go. Song number five. Ready, set, go. is called Renaissance Fair. Renaissance Fairs. Look through it, you see there's a bunch of those high B flats. I want to remind you high B flat is the A key and then your thumb on the register key. There's a lot of high B flats in this one. Um, I know there is repeat signs but to save time I'm going to skip the repeats. I'm not going to do any of the repeats. I'm just going to play it all straight through and that'll be it. Okay. It starts on a D. Everybody find a D. In fact, I'm going to practice the first three notes, which are D, F, high B flat. Kind of tricky. Everybody practice those first three notes. Remember to draw in, throw in the spittle often. And then I also want to point out that this big nine down here, this nine, that means the ninth measure, that that, that measure is the ninth measure. Okay, everybody. D, F, B flat. That's going to be the speed. Song nine, uh, song number five, A Renaissance Fair. Ready, set, go. <laughs> That's all for now. Bye-bye.